So, I'm Philama and this is Worldbox. This time I bring you an idea from our good old boy Bradster. Basically it's a simple concept, but psychotic. Just make everyone fight each other. Literally that. Just make everyone in the world fight each other. So it's gonna be... All I have to do is, I guess, pause first. And then spite everyone. But before that, uh, I'm gonna make Bradster the king or resident in one of the countries. And since I don't know where he's from, I'm gonna root for Portugal and make him the president. Oh wow, so much Portugal. I didn't realize the mother actually put custom thingies in, in each country. Let me see. No sums left hands. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay, so it's very... So it's the same for everyone. Okay, okay good. That makes sense. Nosotros somos España. So, a boo-boo is gonna be Breadster. And then make him a star. I'm not gonna give him more stuff because that would be unfair. I guess Portugal is already this weak. Uh, 55, but whatever. I think it would be, wouldn't be fair. So let's see how Breadster does leading Portugal. I'm gonna spite everyone. I'm not sure if I have to spread this to everyone or if everyone is already fighting each other. My PC is already lagging. <laughs> Too much spite. Okay. I think that's enough spiced. It's, this is just red. Okay, so let's start. But let's go slowly because everyone will fight each other at the same time. And I'm afraid that everyone just wiped each other out. Let's first take a look at Europe because that's where all the world wars start, right? <laughs> so let's see what happens in Europe. Okay, Portugal immediately fighting Spain and Spain fighting France. The UK actually has the advantage in here, I think, because they are in an island, so they just throw arrows everywhere. <laughs> Lucky shit. Portugal's already getting wiped out. Unfortunately, I don't think Portugal has any chance. <laughs> oh no, Bradster. Bradster's still hanging on, he's still here. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Bradster is gonna die, I think. But there's actually some countries that's already gone. Libya was destroyed. Bolivia was destroyed as well. Mozambique was destroyed, so let's see. So Mozambique is now Zambia. Libya as well, right? So Libya... Where's Libya? Ah, uh, it's not Egypt. Yeah. What's the other one? Bolivia. I guess Brazil took over. Tajikistan is destroyed, but I'm not gonna even guess where it is, to be honest. I have no idea. So Portugal is done. Brester is done for. Brester. You could have done better for Portugal. So Spain is also not doing great. The UK is doing amazing. How's America? America's just chilling with Mexico. They're destroying them, actually. <laughs> and Canada also has possibly no chance against America. Brazil is destroying everyone. I mean, no surprise here. It's the most massive country in South America. I think Africa is going to be the most balanced one because everyone has about the same population except for Nigeria. India, just so many hands. Look at this. And South Korea is gone, almost. I guess North Korea is done for as well. China with a thousand. Lithuania almost gone. Estonia almost gone. This is so much things that are happening at the same time, it's impossible to keep up. Where's Russia? Russia, 100. I think they're done for as well. Mongolia is done, I think. Afghanistan only three. You can barely see which people are each soldier. So did that make any sense? It's, it's really hard to understand who's who. It's just too many people. Afghanistan is going down, I think. India is actually going down really fast, and so is China. What the hell is going on here? They're just wiping each other out. And look, Japan has the same situation as the UK. They're just chilling in their island. They're just shooting arrows as much as possible. Russia is almost done as well. France is gone. Spain is almost gone. And Germany is gone. Belarus is almost gone. So almost no one in Europe is, uh, is fine, actually. Norway took over Scandinavia, but still not very strong. United States annihilating everyone. Oh my god. So Brazil is the only chance for South America, but there's no chance anymore, really. And the United States is too strong. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised, to be honest. Nigeria, amazing. Took over all of Africa. Russia being taken over by China, I suppose. Who's taking over? Who's this? Madagascar? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Madagascar took over Russia. What the hell? How did you do that? <laughs> oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting that. India, almost done. China, almost done. Oh, Japan, look at this sea of arrows, man. Brazil actually handled uh, United States really well, but they're still going for it. But I don't think they have a chance, really. I mean, 800 versus 100. Canada is almost done as well. Look at this amount of army, man. There's no chance. Come on, Brazil. Nigeria stabilized, but uh, still has South Africa to deal with. China going down as well. They took over India. Indonesia is almost done. 
Who's this? The United States are here already. Australia, New Zealand. Not many countries left. Just like on the old game. Just like on the previous video <laughs> with the world. France is chilling over here. On this random island. <laughs> the UK is almost done as well. They keep getting hammered while doing nothing. Spain is done. Brazil is hanging on. Look at this. I guess the UK is here as well. Yeah. South Africa is almost done. Madagascar took over Russia. I can't believe that. China is almost done. Who's this? Indonesia is taking over China. This was a terrible judgment from China and India, to be honest. They were the biggest countries on earth. And they just fight each other until both of them are really, really weak. And now they're just sitting ducks. They only have one person. Let's pause. Let's see who's left. Oh, no. Brazil is gone. Not many, to be honest. So Canada, only five. United States, France, Denmark. United Kingdom, Norway, Madagascar, Nigeria, South Africa, one in China, Indonesia, Australia, and New Zealand, and Japan. Actually, Japan could have a good chance to do more stuff. Let's see the armies as well. So Japan actually has more army than the United States. Everyone else is just no chance. It's apparently the only guy that exists in China isn't the king. <laughs> he just wants to chill. It, it, it doesn't want to, to lead, it just wants to farm and, and survive. Oh boy. United Kingdom is being conquered. I'm not sure by who. Is Norway. Are the Vikings taking another chance at them? Oh, who's Nigeria? Nigeria is taking over Europe now. United States took over Canada. Or is taking over at least. France just chilling. I mean, look at them. They're just hanging around. Madagascar has the whole of Russia and only has 18 population. I'm not sure how that's possible. China still hanging on with one. Madagascar, the main island for Madagascar is done for. Went for Nigeria. Madagascar, the whole of Russia is Madagascar. Including uh, some part of Turkey, some part of the Middle East. And only four people live there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Japan is just hanging around doing nothing. China, for some reason, the only person was, uh, was able to procreate. Now has two. And Japan is done doing nothing. Besides just shooting people. Indonesia took over Australia and they are actually looking strong and they are taking over China. So I think we know who will win, right? Unless Indonesia starts having sex a lot and having lots of kids, I doubt they will, they will actually beat the United States. And Japan, what are you doing? You have boats, conquer stuff. Okay, I think this is America. I think they are already conquering Indonesia, so I think it's over, right? Is, is this Nigeria? It is Nigeria. Oh wow. But again, just like on the last game, for some reason they are all fighting each other but ignoring America. I mean, look at these boys, they're, they're really strong. You should have just fought this guy. Indonesia though, taking over everything. It's Japan, not spitting. They are. So why are they just chilling? Are they that peaceful? Are they watching anime? The United Kingdom actually conquered South Africa. Nigeria is almost done for. The United Kingdom is actually gaining a lot of ground. They're, they're actually conquering Africa. Madagascar still holding strong with four people in the whole of Russia. It's amazing. Japan! Finally! Slow down, slow down. I want to see Japan. Oh wow, they're going strong now. So Japan took over Europe, north of Africa. Real fast. They were just there and boom, stairs. I think South Africa will be theirs as well. They have the whole of Europe. Are they conquering this as well? Yeah, they did. Whoa, they have everything. Okay, now I'm impressed. So maybe this was the strategy. Did you, they just chilled, let everyone fight, and then they just take over everything. Because no one else has the same amount of army as them. Maybe only America, but still. Let's see. So Japan still has a lot of army compared to America. I mean, America has more, but they have a lot of more population as well. Japan is doing amazing. I wasn't expecting this to happen at all, to be honest. So this was your plan all along, huh? They were just waiting for everyone to kill each other. And then they said, okay, now this land is mine. Easy. America's just doing nothing as well now. Maybe being... Oh, they conquered France. France is done. Nigeria's still hanging on. Let's fast forward a little bit. America conquered Denmark or Greenland. So this is all Japan and America now. Killed off uh, Nigeria and Madagascar. Okay, only two left. Only Japan and United States. Very, very close, actually. I wasn't expecting this to get this close. Let's see... The kingdoms again, so actually the United States has twice the army. This is not good for them. But they have been fighting constantly. At least in the past couple of minutes. Uh, oh, they're fighting America now. They took over Denmark. Oh, uh, well, Greenland. 
population is very close now. I think this is the, the classic story of the, um, the turtle and the rabbit. I'm gonna slow down because this is being too fast. Because they, they were just chilling, going slowly, doing their thing, while the United States took over everything real fast. Are they taking over South America? And then when the rabbit started sleeping, because they were chill. Oh, wow, they took over South America. When the rabbit started sleeping because they were chill, the, the turtle was already creeping up, already too close for comfort. So United States took over Europe and a little bit of the Middle East and I think Africa as well, possibly. Yes, Africa. But in terms of population, no chance. I think they're taking over mainland America. This may be it. Or is it? America is putting up a good fight, though. They have less population now. They're trying to take over China and Russia. If they do, Japan is Japan may be fucked. They're not being able to, I think. Way more balance than I expected. There was no way I would expect this. I would, would just think America would just take over everything. Big army going south. Oh wow, they took over America. I think this is it, boys. I think we know we won. Very surprising, what the fuck. Japan. You were doing nothing for half of the video, probably. No one bothered you, no one attacked you, it's amazing. Okay, we have a winner. <laughs> not Definitely not so, so, a winner I was expecting, by far, but a good winner. They had a really different strategy from everyone. They were just facing around and then just took over everything. It's amazing, to be honest. So yeah, thank you very much to Brester. Uh, great idea. If you guys have any ideas as well, put them on the comments and I will try to do them as fast as possible. Thank you very much everyone, like, subscribe, please, it helps a lot, and see you soon.